today I am going to explore Sol Calero. So hailing from Caracas, Venezuela, she moved to Berlin at 17 to study art. She makes these amazing installations that are super site specific. She goes to a space, figures it out. Uh, for example, uh, she just completed one in Nice, France. And there was a big tropical storm that was unexpected and there was all this dampness and she used that to her advantage. Part of a wall was crumbling. She made that part of the exhibit. Uh, participants, participants, gallery, um, explorers uh, were able to go through spaces, uh, walking over puddles, exploring into new spaces. She works a lot with exploring our idea of what Latin American um, stereotypes mean to Europeans. So Calera was born in 1982 and she works in Berlin at this art studio that she runs with her husband also. So it's this cool art space where they explore a lot of different artists, uh, kind of low budget, um, but super open-minded. She talks about how there's always a big team behind any art installation that we see. She did Autobus, El Autobus at the Tate Liverpool in, in 2019. And she built it talking, uh, built this bus inside the gallery and talks about the difference between what people think Latin America is based on what it really is and how her hometown of Caracas and Venezuela is so different now than the place she left behind. So figuring out what identity is when part of your identity, like you can never go back home. Sol Calero also made a piece called Casa de Cambio at Art Basel in 2016, talking about the Venezuelan collapse. So it's this beautiful, brightly colored space and then inter as you interact with the space, you realize how false the idea of money is that the Venezuelan dollar used to be one, like imagine it's one to one, now it's $600, 600 U Venezuelan dollars to one US dollar. So your money becomes totally worthless, just really intense. She explores these concepts in a way that are that's really playful though and kind of brings the audience in to look at Latin American art in a new way. She looks at even the idea of what Latin America is. In London, she created this super neat space uh, that was a like a hair cutting place and I think it was called Salsa. So she, uh, included people in the in South London into her exhibit. So she had uh, people braiding hair and doing nails at the opening and then she brought someone to teach salsa and then so by the end of the night uh, people's coats were on pieces of artwork. So she really likes to break the idea of the Eurocentric white walled gallery space and have people think like even though like the world might be crumbling and the economy is collapsing and colonialism has like wreaked havoc in Latin America that you can still know this and enjoy life. Like the holding these dichotomies, just amazing. Sol Claro does incredible work. Uh, she worked with, oh my gosh, La Escuela del, del Sol in 2015 in London. She built this school uh, that you could walk through and experience and it is based on the work of Joaquin Torres Garcia, who in 1935 in Uruguay um, flipped the globe, right? Turning the globe upside down, questioning why there's this Eurocentric version of art when Latin America has an incredible artistic history um, all its own. So she um, pays homage to uh, Joaquin Torres Garcia and other Latin American artists in her work. She did a cafe in, oh, where was it? Norway. Uh, yeah, La, Can La Cantina de la Torista and how um, immigrants like recreate what they miss in their culture, in their um, new country. 
really amazing work. I hope you can see her work sometime. It is super ironic though, because I realize, oh, I kind of have to go to Europe to see it because she has a lot of work in England, Norway, a lot of work in Berlin or in Germany in general um, and um, in France. So anyway, Sol Calero doing incredible work. I hope you get to see it. Let me know what you think. All right. Thanks. Bye.